Hi everyone, this is Terrence McDevitt with Bluefish Development Group. So today I wanted to just quickly go through something that we figured out with solar uh, in terms of loading uh, large amounts of content and just uh, kind of provide a little bit of a pointer in case you run into the same sort of thing. Um, solar, for those of you who don't know, is the new search engine with Alfresco 4 and above. Uh, it's sort of the out-of-the-box search engine. Um, it, uh, it was released with 4.0. It doesn't mean that you have to use Solar. You can actually continue to use Lucene, which was the default search engine for 3.4 and below. Um, so if you have a large Lucene index and you don't want to get rid of that or blow it away, um, you can still move to Alfresco 4 without using Solar. But by default, it is actually on. So um, anyway, so we've implemented this a few times with our clients, uh, and we've run across some interesting issues with loading large amounts of content into the repository and Solar. Um, this has gotten better over the last few dot releases with 4.0, uh, but it's still something that we're noticing uh, with, with some of our clients. So I thought we would point it out to you guys and uh, share some information with you. So uh, Solar, real quick, um, Solar, what it does is it tracks uh, repository content. And so anytime something gets uploaded into the, into the repository, uh, Solar says, hey, you know, is there something new in the repository? And it finds that and then grabs it and does its, its indexing. Um, that's called tracking, and it does that every 15 seconds. It pulls the repository to get uh, any new transactions that it needs to index. Um, Solar's got this model of something called eventually consistent, which means that at some point, the index will be caught up with the actual content in the repository. Uh, and what we noticed is when loading large amounts of content, uh, it has a hard time keeping up. And in fact, some in some cases, uh, Solar would actually fall over and stop responding. So uh, the way we sort of got around that um, with some of our implementations is to turn that tracking off while we're doing some bulk loads. So how do we do that? Well, there's two ways we can do it. You can do it through the interface. So if you open up Share and go to uh, More, and you basically go to the Administration Console, uh, there's a little section down here for Solar. Um, and in here, you'll see an option for tracking. And by default, it says tracking is enabled. But we can go in and edit that to turn that off. So if you think you're going to be doing some large amounts of, of bulk loading, um, then you can just turn that off and save that setting and then you know go do your bulk load and come back and turn that back on. Now when you turn it back on, it's going to have to catch up. So there's you know, going to be some work done there. So if you've got you know, hundreds of thousands of documents that you want to, that you want to bring into the repository, um, once they're uploaded, that's great, but users won't be able to actually search on them until, um, until Solar has caught back up. You can actually, if you're interested in figuring out where Solar is in terms of tracking, this, con this little console screen shows some of the stats down here. One thing we also notice is that the statistics aren't necessarily always accurate and they are not necessarily timely. So you might get information in here that says it's going to take six hours to index 20,000 documents, but it actually takes a lot, you know, it's much quicker than that. Um, if you want to do this through configuration, it's, a, it's actually pretty easy. There's, uh, in Solar, you've got under Alf Data Solar or wherever you've actually you know, pointed in your configuration, wherever your solar indexes are, you've got two space stores. Uh, for, you've got the archive space store and the work, workspace space store. In each of those, you've got a comp folder. Um, and within that, you've got a sole core dot properties. So if you open, up, open that up in your favorite text editor, um, you'll notice that there's uh, a property in here called enable alfresco tracking. Uh, and by default, that's set to true. So if you want to turn tracking off, you need to turn it off in the Soul Core Properties file in both of the, the Archive Space Store and the Workspace Space Store. Um, one other thing to point out is that in, I think, 4.1, I believe, they introduced multi-threaded tracking. So prior to 4.1, uh, everything was in a single thread, which made tracking a little bit slower. Um, and the multi-threaded tracking definitely has a performance improvement, but it's, it seemed to cause even more problems when we were loading large amounts of content. So what I would suggest is either turn th tracking off completely or turn single-threaded tracking on. Uh, and you may just need to tweak these and kind of play with it when you're loading uh, a lot of content. So that's it. Thanks.